making it was a thrilling finish to the Indianapolis 500, but not before some wild crashes. And ABC's TJ Holmes is here with all the excitement. Good morning, TJ. Yeah, Robach, when we talk about these cars flying around the track, uh, we don't mean that in the literal sense, but there was particular concern yesterday that we would see a number of these cars going airborne after a series of spectacular crashes during qualifying. But we can report everything stayed grounded yesterday, and we had a fantastic race. And the winner of the Indianapolis 500 is Juan Pablo Montoya. An adrenaline-activating, nail-biting finish. Yeah! Juan Pablo Montoya celebrating inside his car, winning the Indy 500 for the second time in his career. Oh, my God. That was awesome. But it was a rough start for the 39-year-old. His back fender even flying off early in the race, and he only led a total of nine of the 200 laps. This is not a piece you can run without. The 500-mile race, heart-pounding from the start to the finish, countless crashes on the track, even on pit road. Oh, it crash! Just 12 seconds in, two groups of cars colliding. Later, on that same turn, one car ripped to shreds. I'm OK, I'm OK. Here in the green car, Ed Carpenter spinning out of control. This his second wreck in just seven days. Carpenter first going airborne during last week's preliminaries, along with three other drivers, including James Hinchcliffe, who was critically injured after this fireball wreck, missing the 500, Instagramming from his hospital bed, though Sunday kills me not being there. Well, it's always great coming here to the Indianapolis 500, regardless of what the week was like, but the week was crazy. And off the track, a star-studded affair. David Letterman making a post-retirement pit stop to cheer on the car he owns. NASCAR great Jeff Gordon driving the pace car. McDreamy himself, Patrick Dempsey, starting the race, waving the green flag. But back on the track for Montoya, a day he will never forget. Well, guys, the cars are using some new aerodynamic kits this year, which can maybe have an impact on some of these crashes. Also, Indy allowed to make adjustments so they could speed up the cars after the crashes. They made the adjustments back the other direction. So, George, it slowed the cars down from going from 230 to 225. So not much of an adjustment, but a few, uh, a few miles per hour here or there can make a difference. Let's hope it makes a difference. Okay, TJ, thanks very much.